Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to learn how to create a Kaplan-Meier survival curve and perform analysis using GraphPad Prism. Kaplan-Meier analysis is a powerful and widely used statistical method in science, particularly in the fields of medicine, epidemiology, and survival analysis. It plays a crucial role in understanding and interpreting time-to-event data, where the outcome of interest is measured as the time it takes for an event to occur such as patient survival, time to disease recurrence, or time to recovery. The Kaplan-Meier method allows researchers to estimate the survival probability over time and create Kaplan-Meier survival curves, which graphically illustrate the probability of survival at different time points. These curves are valuable for visualizing and comparing survival experiences between different groups or treatments in a study. First, ensure you have GraphPad Prism installed on your computer. Once you open Prism, Create a new project and import your survival data. It should be organized with columns for time to event and status, one for an event, zero for censored data. Remember, Kaplan-Meier is used for survival analysis, such as time to disease recurrence or patient survival time. Now that you have all your data, just click on the graph of the same family of data and there you have it, a Kaplan-Meier curve. You can customize the graph's appearance by double-clicking on it. Change the line styles, colors, and add error bars if needed. Remember to label your axis clearly and add a title to the graph. Understanding the Kaplan-Meier curve is vital for interpreting the results. The x-axis represents time, while the y-axis shows the estimated survival probability. The curve may decline over time as events, e, g, patient deaths, occur or remain constant if no events are observed. Congratulations! You successfully created a Kaplan-Meier survival curve and performed analysis using GraphPad Prism. This method is valuable for researchers and clinicians studying survival data. Remember to interpret the results carefully and consider using this tool for various applications. If you enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more data analysis tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you next time.